Hey everyone, it's Raul with another video uh, about another topic about the book Where the Hazard You're Moving, Where Moving is No Joke. Uh, the last video we discussed, uh, we discussed when you start sorting your things, organizing your things, what you decide, what you want to pack, what you're going to take with you, what you're going to sell, what you're going to give away, as well as doing research on your new home, in your locale, uh, for your children, for work, and things like that, as well as to organize some of your records as to some of the services you're going to need, where you're going to go, and terminating the services where you are. Now we're going to be talking about, we are at the stage now where we're going to be looking to supplies, ordering the supplies, uh, finally deciding should I use, take what I have with me, should I give it away, or uh, we're going to touch a little further into that aspect of what, you, what you're going to take with you, what you're going to give away, what you're going to throw out. Uh, we're going to talk about your children, your pets, your plants, uh, taking the measurements that you know on your, local, your new home, as well as if uh, so starting uh, setting up the process of packing, okay? So, first of all, I guess one of the most important parts about the move is ordering the supplies. You want to make sure you order the supplies you need to pack your things so you can then move on, move on, move them on, pack them, load them into the truck and move them, right? So, uh, when do you do that? You do that about six weeks before you move. You basically need to order, determine how many supplies you need, or as accurately as possible, how much you need. Chances are, as we said in the book here, is almost not even professional packers can tell exactly what they need. But we'll give you a fair idea how to determine that in the book, okay? So now you gotta order your supplies. Now we found there's a lot of people that don't, they wanna save on the process. Obviously, moving is not a cheap event, right? So people wanna save. And a lot of people, what they do is they go buy used boxes. And they wonder, should I use the boxes or not? So about six weeks before you look for boxes. But now should you use use used boxes or not? And we discussed this at length here. This is an important topic because a lot of people don't realize uh, some of the hazards that come with uh, using used boxes. For example, if you uh, have a brother or a sister or a, uh, a father or a mother that just moved and they have their boxes, they're going to give it to you. Sure, you guys know each other, no problem. You have a friend who's very clean, you, can, you trust the person completely, no problem. But when it comes to using boxes of people you don't know, you don't know what's on those boxes. It's, it's not uh, the safest thing to use somebody's boxes because you don't know what's in the boxes. We discussed in the book here uh, one thing that people don't realize. Uh, bugs love boxes. They love the flute, you know, the little things in the boxes. We explained the flute of the boxes in uh, previous videos. And bugs, spiders, uh, fleas, lice, uh, bed bugs, they love those, that spot. So if the person who used those boxes before you bought them, who you bought them from, happens not to be the cleanest of persons, or they even they might probably don't know that there, were, that there was an issue, then you are inheriting somebody's problem, okay? Then all of a sudden, the money you, you, you just saved just multiplied into an expense that is three or four times what you would have spent, if not more, to get rid of the problem, okay? So we encourage everyone to use new boxes. And again, if you have somebody who you know at the other end, a brother or sister that is moving, they trust you, trust them, you guys, they know you're clean and no problem, pass them out to them, sell it to them, or donate it to them, or give it to them. A child that's moving, give it to the child. But if you don't know the person who you bind them from, uh, we encourage you don't use used boxes, okay? Just stick to new boxes. A little more expensive, but uh, good news is boxes can be used up to can be used up to three times. So after you move once, you fold them the same way, store them in the basement. You can use them again and again and again, up, up to three times. Again, so long as you take care of the boxes, because if you bang the heck out of them, of course, maybe they won't even last once. But boxes on uh, usually on average can be used up to three times. So you are investing some money that can be split into three different events, or if a family member is moving, you pass it to them or sell it to them, and again, those boxes get, those boxes get used again, so that money you spend can be divided into a few events, okay, a few times. So we encourage you to use new boxes, okay? Um, again, we spoke, we touched on this before on the, on the previous video about the stuff you're gonna be you're sorting out. Uh, 
it's important to determine right up front. I know we, we get attached to our things, and over the years we accumulate so many things in our homes. Sometimes it even surprises us. You have no idea how many people come to our store, and they're overwhelmed because they lived in this home for 20 years or spent more, and only now they realize how much stuff they accumulated that they don't need. So very high chances you're going to have a lot of things you don't need. So you want to make sure you determine right away what you're going to keep, what you're going to sell, what you're going to give away. And we also seen people walk through our doors, smile from side to ear to ear, so happy that they just bought something that somebody foolishly sold or gave away. That's worth a lot of money. I personally know someone who went to a, a drift store, bought a green jacket that somebody gave away to the drift store. That jacket turned out to be uh, one of those, uh, you know, when somebody wins a golf tournament and they get a green jacket, was worth $15,000. Some fool along the way thought, okay, that's a jacket, I'm just going to give it away. And they give it away and it's worth so much money. So it's overwhelming uh, when you almost, it's very stressful and almost overwhelming when you're moving. And people make some silly mistakes. They don't want to deal with, with things. So they just give away, discard uh, for a, 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 in a blip of a second. They don't even think about what's the value of what they're giving away. So be cautious with that. Don't just give away. Take some time. You feel overwhelmed, sit back. Go watch a movie. Have a glass of wine or some your coffee. Oh, I'll better off go for a coffee off at the park. Come back. Life is an end tomorrow. So make sure that you also be cautious, okay? And also don't be a hoarder. Some people just hold on to the stupidest of things. They've, they have no value whatsoever, but somehow they figure, I'm going to need this. We always can use something in the future. I'm not sure if you know that theory, right? Oh, I could use this spoon. I can use this jacket. I can use this cloth. I can use this and that and that. Before you know it, that's how hoarders become hoarders because you cling to everything. Also do that either, right? Be cold and efficient. I don't need it. Give it away. Donate it. So sell it. Give it to my sister, my brother, somebody who can use it. If you're never going to use that lawnmower because you live in a condo, Give it somebody or sell it somebody. Don't hold on to it, right? So, anyways, you got it, right? There's uh, so many things we can, we can, you can think of. So many ways to look at this that it's overwhelming. But, anyways, I give you the main ones, okay? The next one, next one is children, pets, and plants. Okay, children, uh, uh, it's one of the most critical parts when it comes to moving, and relocating is children. Their schooling and their medical, let's say, uh, medical services, things like that, is critical. So you want to make sure you where you're going to go next that you take that very seriously. The safety, the schooling, uh, think 10 years ahead or, the, or the, when they start looking for jobs, things like that. You want to make sure where you're going to go is safe for the children. The schooling especially is set up properly. You check for the right teachers, right school, and so on, okay? Pets. Pets are family. They're part of our family. You want to make sure the records are taken with you to the next location. There's vets, there's services, there's parks to walk the dogs, things like that, okay? Keep that in mind, okay? If you go into a condo, think about your cats. They're never going to be coming out, things like that. Just think about all the aspects, the, what, how it will impact the pet. Pets are a family, and you should think of every possible aspect. If they're happy where you are, try to emulate where you're going to go next. Make sure they have the same, the same. Um, the same uh, uh, joy, okay? And plants. Your plants, uh, again, part of the family. You want to make sure the plants can be moved. They can be moved because a lot of people have a lot of plants. They move and move them with trucks. And although the movers and everybody try their best not to hurt them, high chances that plants are going to be damaged unless you have some way to carry them very carefully, okay? So if you have a, a plant that's very precious to you, you want to make sure you have a special loca location somewhere in the truck or somewhere where that plant can be moved. So account for that as well, okay? And then the next part is measurements. Um, measurements. It's annoying when you take your furniture, go to a new home, right? And get there, it doesn't fit, right? And you start punching the walls. Why didn't they think of the furniture when they made this house? Why can't they make that door a little wider, right? So you want to make sure when you before you go to your new home that you uh, let's say you just you're going to form to next town over, let's say right, and you want to you're taking a couch. If uh, like when you do your purchasing of your new home or your rental, 
make sure to set up a time to do the measurements. Small things, boxes, shoes, things like that, who cares? They fit anywhere. But if you have a large couch, a large couch, large TV, a large bed, uh, bedroom set, uh, whatever, make sure those large items fit to the door. So you want to either call your agent uh, to speak to the seller so you can you can go and see it or whoever's renting the apartment or you go there yourself pay a visit uh, i manage properties so uh, very often uh, tenants before they move in they always uh, actually after they do the first show and they get approved they always request a date to make measurements you want to measure the rooms measure the door entrances so if the, the your couch doesn't fit through the door sell it buy a new one in the next location, right? Where like you make it, you can make preparations ahead of time because it's annoying when the mover shows up at the door, tries to push a couch through, doesn't fit. It, it just is heartbreaking. But if you know that ahead of time, you sell the, box, the the furniture in this location, get the other, you have some, you order a new, new item that fits through that door, okay? And you have a replacement couch, a replacement bed or bed set, whatever that is, okay? Keep that in mind. Because otherwise you're going to waste not only the furniture you have, you're going to have to spend the money as well to get a new couch or a new, a new bed. Imagine you're doing a new place and having to sleep on the floor the first night. Not very comfortable. Not the, the, the brightest of, uh, of ideas. But it's also going to beat you up a little because you're going to feel like a fool for not doing that. Okay, So keep that in mind. Okay. And on the next part, packing is a, we say, we say make a music, a favorite list, a music, a playlist. Packing can be overwhelming, as I just mentioned, okay? So you want to make sure when you do your packing that you have a good time, that you are relaxed and are cool-headed, that you're not, oh, want to, killing, want to kill somebody. So we suggest in here in this book that you make a list of uh, songs you want to play, upload them to your phone, to your stereo, whatever. Play them along. Play them along. Music makes things, like, lightens things up and helps you to helps you or the family, because if this is a family uh, affair when everybody's working together to pack, I tell you, with a, to the tune of some good songs, it makes the, the packing a breeze, relieves stress, relieves stress, relieves tension and pressure, and it, it helps a lot. So when you pack, make sure you have a, a list of your favorite songs uh, that you can play as you do it. It makes things so much easier, okay? And I think that's it for this uh, video. We are going to uh, post other videos regarding the other topics. Uh, a few. This book is quite hand, handy. It's not very, cheap, not very expensive. I think it's nine dollars, something like that. Not very expensive at all. But it, the, the topics from beginning to end can be really helpful. One idea alone, one idea alone can be worth hundreds and hundreds of, of dollars, so long as it helps you. And we believe it does. What we gathered the, the, most of the ideas here from our experience dealing with movers with packers, with customers, especially customers. So we figured, not, we figured why not take this and pass it on to somebody else that can benefit, benefit from this uh, uh, solution, okay? So we put all these bunch of solutions together to pass on to other people. Basically what this is, is a bunch of solutions, okay? Before you meet the problem, you, you, you find the solution. And before you even sell your home, that's why we sell this to, to, to real estate agents buy from us and movers and packers because they give it to their client. The client uh, uh, gets prepared ahead of time, sort of makes preparation ahead of time. So it makes the, the job easier for everyone from the real estate agent to the lawyers to the movers to everyone benefits from this. So when a real estate agent hands this to a client, it basically is facilitating the process all the way through to the point at which they are packing their new home. Okay, I hope this was helpful. Any questions you may have, post them below. Any comments, uh, anything else you want to know, any, even if it's not a topic we're discussing, post them below and we'll, we'll do our best to help you. Okay, and I think that's it. Uh, so subscribe to our channel. Uh, you're going to be getting videos like this in the future, other videos. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. You have a friend who's moving who can benefit from that, pass the, share the video with them. And again, like I said, subscribe to our channel. Uh, and I think that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video and look forward to seeing you in the next. Bye-bye.